Today marks the 19 year anniversary of Hurricane Katrina. Katrina developed on the 23rd of August over the southeastern Bahamas as a tropical depression, becoming a category one hurricane just before landfall across South Florida near Miami. Katrina didn't lose much intensity as it crossed a wetland area across the southern tip of Florida. Once emerging into the southeastern Gulf of Mexico, Katrina exploded in intensity, becoming a category five on August 28th. At one point, winds increased to 175 miles per hour, with gusts over 200 in the central Gulf. Hurricane Katrina became an extremely large and powerful hurricane, producing mass destruction and landfall along southeast Louisiana and the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Given how large the storm was, damage covered a huge area across central Louisiana, eastward to the Alabama Gulf Coast, and then inland across much of Mississippi and west Alabama. Storm surge reported close to 20 feet along the Mississippi Gulf Coast and over 10 feet on the Alabama coast. Katrina became the costliest hurricane to hit the U.S., beating the old record of Hurricane Andrew. Katrina producing damage of $108 billion. Katrina also ranks in the top five deadliest hurricanes to hit the U.S. The storm produced over 1,800 fatalities. We'll have more information online on our social media platforms on Facebook and X. Search for Richard Scott WVUA 23. Also more on the story on our website, WVUA23.com.